Hey everyone, welcome to Spooky Time. Welcome to Abandoned Souls. Just a little game I found on Steam. Looked interesting, looks almost like it was filmed with a camera. I'm not sure. So let's just dive in and see what it's like. If it doesn't crash. <laughs> It is 2015. Tim, an urbex vlogger, for his viewer's request, sets out to explore an abandoned hospital in a forest in the middle of nowhere. The wet forum Tim frequented was crawling with stories about people who had gone missing in the vicinity of the hospital in 1985. It is a game. <laughs> they said... Dot, dot, dot. Pause for emphasis. Build dread. It was no ordinary hospital. <laughs> dot dot dot. Whoa! Abandoned souls. Heck yeah, let's go. Here we are! An old abandoned hospital building that operated in the 80s. I'm going to enter this building to shoot a video for my viewers. Am I supposed to- oh. Ah. Okay, cool. It looks great. I really like the look of this. Um, if you want some good abandoned institution movies, I would say start with Grave Encounters. If you haven't seen that yet, what are you doing? Uh, Gonjam, the Korean one, is really good. Really like that one as well. I'm here! <laughs> What's another really good one? Um, I recently read a book called Episode 13. If you like those movies, then you would love that book. Um, also, if you like Phasmophobia, you would love that book. It was really, really cool. This is awesome. Yoo-hoo! Any ghosts? Patients? Locked. What? Can I just go here? No. Um, when I was looking at the screenshots for this game, I was like, holy shit, that looks like real. But now seeing it in motion, I'm like, okay, okay. But it looks great. I really like it. I think I need to go back out and then left. I don't know if I can. This looks so cool! Give me 10 games like this, please. Thanks. Is that a picture? Missing person. <laughs> he was a doctor. those sounds pigeon are those whispers on the wind For a second, it sounded like someone was walking around. Who lit this candle? For me to see. Someone guiding me in. Hello? Oh, I don't like this. Sip of courage. Ah, oh, that's a damn fine cup of coffee. Hello? Oh, 
Fire. <gasps> shoes. New shoes. I didn't see anything, but there's definitely a reaction. Honestly, I feel like that's enough footage for me. Bye. Whew, it's making me tense. Dude, if that were real life, I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> Hearing someone running around in the darkness. Are you kidding me? Should I just go... That's where I came from though, right? I wonder if I'm supposed to find something in this building. To open the lock because I didn't pick up anything. But I also don't see anything to interact with. I don't know if there's like pop ups or anything. Should we try and go around the building? Oh, come on, stupid flashlight. Oh, God. Don't you dare go out. No, I can barely. Great piece of crap. Piece of crap. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Who the hell was that? Christ, I didn't expect someone to actually come running. Okay, I think we're on the right track then. Jesus. Go away. Oh, that's an axe. Is the crowbar on the table? Nice. I think I got it. Alarm. I need to get back to the car. Alarm? Someone breaking into your car? Oh yeah! Your car alarm's going off. Suddenly it seems lighter. I mean, obviously the car alarm's helping, but... Dude, this looks amazing. I like it. Marp, 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 marp. Car is like, I'm so scared, Lone Forest, please come back. <laughs> oh, it's a safe word. Paul, Paul, Paul. Need to get closer to it, deactivate it. It's old. I want to install a new one before leaving, but I'm a lazy ass. <laughs> That's better. <gasps> what did they do? What the hell? Is that a bloody axe sticking out of my car? Who could have done this? Do not enter. Looks like a warning. I have to decide if I should go into the building or if it's better to go home. I mean, obviously we're going in. It would be funny though if you can and that's an ending. Crows. I have my crowbar. I can hit someone if I need to. Building doesn't look that big. <laughs> Let's see if we can open it now. Ah, I see. Oh. 
Um. Time to go in. Ah, cool. Okay. So we're forced to go in. Here I am. Who was that? It was as if he was trying to tell me something. I hope he can't get in here. He was telling you to dance. He had the movements to show. <laughs> Ghost shows up. Okay. And a one. And a two. <laughs> oh, baby. This looks so cool. Looks like it just started raining outside. I got inside just in time. That is the least of your worries. There's a man after you. Whoa! Yes! Okay, my flashlight still doesn't work. Oh, I can barely see it, but... Mike, I cannot believe they are shutting us down. What about all the locals? Where are they going to turn to help, help to for help now? How will they reach the town? Miles and miles away. Strange, according to the papers, our sponsors have been very gener generous and invested much more than necessary into our hospital. Funding gap? Bullshit. Alex. They closed the only hospital for hundreds of kilometers? Why? Illegal experiments? Hmm? Hmm. Well, whoever made this, you did a great job with the environments. Interesting. Mysterious story. The guys in the forum were writing that people were disappearing in the villages near the hospital. Happened around the 80s. The note is dated 1985. What has thunder? Oh. Huh? Nani nani? What? What are you saying, huh? What's so hot about this? You can't just say hot and then nothing. Ooh, a note. Who are all these people? What's with all the equipment they're hauling away? I've never seen hardware like this. And the body bags. I swear, these look like body bags with, well, corpses in them. But we are an ordinary hospital. You don't even have a morgue here. Where did the body bags come from? What's going on? Oh, I have the same questions. so dark Must be one of the patients we just saw. I thought I heard someone moan just now. 
Dude, I am starting to see things. Like these little shimmers of dust in the air. Oh. I thought they were like two eyes at one point. <laughs> it's a skelly man. I do love my skelly mans. You aren't gonna move, are you? Hey, the phone's not even on the hook. Oh, that one is. Screw this, Rick. They're shutting us down after all I've done for them. What we've done. The project was doing good. We were so close to our goal, but one of the sponsors decided that there are too many casualties. After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decided to pull the plug so as to not alert the press. The locals suspect us, suspect us already, and they decided to close the hospital. Can't they see it'll set off more alarm bells? Today they will haul away all the equipment and all the subjects. Just like that, in broad daylight. Idiots. Disappearances? Body bags? Equipment? Right, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. It does sound like someone's crying. Oh! That looks very evil. Oh. Hello? Sad person? Oh. That was skittering. That was definitely skittering. Oi. Oi. Don't look up. Are there people in the vents? Don't look up where? Although I feel like if it actually was something like that, like we had to look up, then it probably wouldn't have... It would have like done subtitles. Like, don't look up. What does it mean? What does it all mean? I haven't been in here yet. Haunted broom. <laughs> Stupid rat! Haunted rat! It's a ghost rat. This seems like a big room. Any notes? Got any notes here? Reading is my drug. Hmm, something happened here. Dust. So much dust. <gasps> Someone was sleeping here! Why is there a knife there? The saw? Bone saw? Wait, who was brave enough to sleep here? Oh, so much dust here. Maybe a way opened up? Oh no. Am I hearing something? I see the face! Oh! Someone was peeking around the corner! Time to leave? 
I mean, we've checked everywhere now. Everywhere, anywhere we could go. We got some scares, but we didn't... We got a couple of ticks. I feel like we're supposed to find, like, a basement. Because they're talking about, like, body bags and stuff. Being carried up from somewhere, but they have no idea. They didn't even have a morgue. Wait, was the door always open like that? Okay, the way back is not an option. I'll see what I can find. Oh! I can examine it. Two cables hanging down from the ceiling. That's exactly what I said! Don't look up, what does it mean? <laughs> That's funny that I was like, well, he didn't say anything like, don't look up. What does it mean? <laughs> oh. Oh, it moved. Yes, the door is open, baby. Whoa. That's so cool looking. What you got there, Teddy? A Teddy? Nurse? Hmm. It's cutting Teddy open. Mm hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to tread into the darkness. Hey, Skelly's back. Oh, it's just another door. Someone helping me? Follow me. Okay, lead the way. So we need to find the key. Strange picture. I did see another teddy on the way over. I've seen two other teddies. Hey. Okay, two windows maybe? And a... Okay, <laughs> this room looks familiar. Does it though? It must be one of the front offices, right? Is it? The key is in a... in between sinks. Take a right at the clock. And then one of the doors... okay. It looks like the hallway I was in, the familiar clock on the wall. There should be a door somewhere near them. Okay. Where was the clock? Was it? Yeah, here. Hey. There it is. Got it. Take it. Thanks, Teddy. Now the question is, was that a ghost or actually maybe there's just a naked homeless person running around?
But it looked like a ghost to me. But you never know. You don't know how long he's been here. <laughs> cool. Now let's see what's behind this door. Oh. I see. Stairs? Are we going into the basement? What is this place? Oh. <gasps> Blood? Blood? He's not funny. S military storage? It's kind of looked like military crates. Excuse me. So many people, men, women, children. And for what? Why have we done all this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Borkov, what did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off on torture. I'm glad they're shutting down the project, but the blood on our hands, I don't think it'll ever come off. Should I just go this way? Hello? point but what about here what's that smell it's blood oh whoa what the hell is this the thing is huge look at those toenails that's so cool i hope it's dead fuck <laughs> oh what's in the second one Wow. Who's laughing? That's so cool. Was he making giants? Super soldiers? Experiments. Hello. Ooh, a note. The latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily. However, intellectual capabil capabilities continuously decline. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subjects have gone completely bald. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes and they have lost the ability to articulate words. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can definitely see a near total darkness and their eyes seem to reflect light. <gasps> That's what we saw. Rather haunting, really. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel. We still manage to keep them under control, so far. Unfortunately, we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines. But we're working on it. Let's continue the research. So we saw one of them still alive. In the... in those pipes. The glowy eyes. Honestly, I hope the game ends with like terrible experiments. With like stop. Fifty eyes 
like popping up from out of the darkness. That would be so cool. Or we free them all. <laughs> oh. What's going on over here? It's quite bright. Is it a new flashlight? That would be amazing. Oh, is that a dead body? There's a note next to him. Ooh. And a tape. I can't see. 20 degrees? 20 December. Oh, yeah, 20 December. Oh, that's what it says. Uh, platform. You can go straight and right. One, two, three, light, generator, fuel can. Oh, I need to get fuel for a generator? Oh, that's not a one. The bottom is a one. F get fuel, put it in the generator, to turn on the lights. Fuel can to generate a light. Is someone helping me? Well, that's where the fuel can is, looks like. The previous batch died within a week of inserting the brain implants and injected the serum, but this, this is something else. Their physical attributes are rapidly increasing and their immune sy system seems to be able to withstand exposure to all of the viruses and bacteria we introduce. All of that, a mere week after, after the introduction of the new serum, we're excited to have Dr. Borkov join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother now that he's with us. His vast expertise and in innovative ideas led to a breakthrough with serum development. The best one yet. So am I just grabbing this? Fuel gun. Now I need to find five minutes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. English. Now I need to find a generator. Well, let's see what's down here. Nothing. Wow. Okay. That would be cool to turn on the- oh. That's not just light. That's eyes. Someone's watching me. Oh, don't like that. Is it you, buddy? Oh! Do you want me to turn the lights on? Should I follow you? Or is that certain death? Can I save? I don't think there's a safe. But I think they're guiding me. The implant issue is still not fixed. We cannot read their minds. We cannot give them orders. They keep silent. However, sometimes it feels like they're communicating with each other mentally. They exchange glances, give tiny little nods. They resemble a pack, as if they all share a mental link. At this point in time, we cannot confirm we reached original project goals. We still do not control the subjects, so using them for military purposes is out of the question. However, we've definitely reached a breakthrough in a different field. It looks like we created a new species. Oh, I heard that. Sounds like they have pincers or something. Is this the generator? Wait, what is that sound? The wheelchair? Serum? Blood tests? Okay. So this is probably not, it looks like a generator, but... <gasps> oh, Jesus! <laughs> There's the homeless guy again. <laughs> Dude! I didn't expect you to skitter by like that. Oy! Whew. Ah, this looks promising. 
Do, 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 do. Should be a start button somewhere. What's that sound? Oh. Maybe it's not like we're, op we're turning on the lights. Maybe we're just like opening a door for them. So they can go out. What is going on? Oh, the whole platform. Oh, we can watch the tape. can't see it. Oh, there we go. They're standing over a table. They said they created a new species, right? Is this a record of the experiments that took place? They really experimented on people. It's terrible. Ooh, a ladder! Oh, we're not done yet. Oh! Maybe they can, like, teleport or something. Ooh, what is this? We can go even deeper. Mm. So the whole thing fell. They are closing the project. One of their recent subjects escaped, the one from the latest test batch. It tore several lab assistants and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent dividers fully closed. Oh god, what have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers, super soldiers! And we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, and unparalleled agility and night vision. I hope they captured the subject soon, or else I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Eat. Strange cave. Looks like an average cave to me. Very cool, though. Dude. Stop. Don't like that. So I wonder why they want you to go here. Because it does feel like they're guiding me deeper and deeper. Like from the dude who forced me into the hospital. To then the teddy in the wheelchair. To now this. Didn't see anything. Dr. Borkov ordered that everyone should leave the lab today, told us to leave everything behind, said the experiment had failed and we would never be able to control them. All project documentation will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They're closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown inf infinitely, def indefinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do, as soon as possible. Sometimes when you listen closely, despite all the movement and shouting and noises, we can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, these terrible noises give me the chills. <laughs> Is that a... Oh, I was like, 
is that a walkie-talkie? And at the same point, the guy was like, is that a camera? Oh, cool! Holy shit! Oh, I know where that room is. Uh-huh, I know where that is. There's so many. So someone else came here and just didn't make it out. <laughs> That's exactly what I said I wanted. So how did that camera... Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. Did they pick up the camera? I recognize the locations from the video. I've been there. That plush teddy bear on the table. I've had enough. I need to get out of here. Oh, those are eyeballs. He saw too much. Maybe they're jealous of the eyeballs. Oh, cameras, another camera. A uh, uh, video camera, camcorder. Oh, you are definitely not the first person to have come here. Oh, shit. This is like all their gear. Is that a drone? There's even a drone. A Polaroid. Uh, okay. Let's go. Dude, you are so not getting out of here. I guess they just guide you deeper. Oh, so they can eat you. They need more food. They're hungry down here. Some hungry little guys. Wait, is this where I came in? Yeah. Oh God. Hello? Oh, Teddy! Oh, they know I'm here. They're just playing with me now. Time to go, time to go. Just keep a steady stride. Oh! Ending cutscene! Oh! Look at that! Oh, there they come! There they come! You gotta run, dude! Run! You can do it, you can do it. You're at the door. Keep going. <gasps> We're still going. They were chasing me. I need to get out of here. Okay. You got it. But weren't they here as well? That was a big mistake to come here. Oh god, go, 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 go! Keep going. Don't freaking stop. <laughs> you got it, pal. I got you. Oh, I want to look behind me so bad, but I'll die. Take a right. Did we make it out? Is our car still there? Yeah, I can barely see. Yeah, a car's still there. Let's hope it works actually, despite the axe that was in it. After Tim released the video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents, machinery, and clothes belonging to people who had gone missing throughout the years were uncovered. 
Many re oh, uh, nothing and no one else, however, was found. State authorities, many religious officers were missing. I couldn't finish it. Just Tom. Cook. <laughs> uh, special thanks to Emika Games. We know Emika. Interesting. I really enjoyed that. Really nice, like style. I thought it was very stylish. It looked really nice. I thought the the scares were maybe like a little too jump scary, but everything around it was like perfect. Like it looked really good. The environments were great. The sound design was awesome. Um, I like that we found like we watched a videotape, but we also like we had cutscenes and we looked at the camcorder footage. Like all of that was awesome. I liked the little glowy eyes. Overall, that was a really nice little ex little experience. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game. I enjoyed that. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll have a link to Steam, obviously, as always, in the description if you want to play it or share it with someone. And that was a nice little time. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that.